Today is July 11th, and this is history. And our lead story in Lee Hawking, New Jersey, Vice President Aaron Burr mortally wounded from the Secretary of Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, in the duel, in a move that Broadway World caused the hottest ticket in town. Witness accounts of the illegal pistol duel are still coming in, but we can report that the duel itself was a result of a long standing feud between the two that finally came to a boiling point when Hamilton cost Burr the presidency in 1800. Keeping up tradition, Hamilton obviously threw away a shot and hit a tree branch above Burr's head, while Burr landed his shot directly above Hamilton's hip. The tree is in serious condition, but it's expected to make a full recovery soon. Secretary Hamilton, though, is not. In baseball news, the Boston Red Sox have defeated the Cleveland Maps 4-3, the win going to Boston rookie pitcher George Herman Ruth Jr in his Major League debut. Fans of the minor league team, the Baltimore Orioles, are familiar with his legendary pitching arm, but some scouts have claimed that the young babe, as some of his teammates have called him, can hit, too. I suppose only time will tell. Today also marks the release of Harper Lee's first novel, The Kill a Mockingbird causing high school English students everywhere to collectively roll their eyes. This is hard-hitting and frankly heartbreaking novel depicts racial tensions in the Deep South during the Great Depression. In central character added to Finch, Lee does something no author has been able to do, create a believable lawyer who actually cares about his clients. We at History Hounds rate this novel as an instant classic, and we look forward to what will certainly be a long career filled with literally masterpieces from Lee. Today marks the birthday of the sixth president, John Quincy Adams, and Scottish King Robert the Bruce. Legend has it that Robert the Bruce was hiding in a cave after being defeated in battle six times by King Edward II, who was trying to take Scotland for England. He observed a spider trying to make a web. The spider failed six times before finally succeeding the seventh time. He took this as a sign and was able to drag Edward II out of Scotland. Oh, today is also the birthday of Charlotte's web author E.B. White, which leads us to this week's trivia question. Robert the Bruce has been featured in many films. However, one actor portrayed him twice. Can you fellow history hounds name who? The actor and the two movies he played the legendary king was? Leave your answer in the comments below. We'll reveal the correct answer in this week's edition. Last week we asked you why American flag had 15 stripes from 1795 to 1818. The answer is that the 15 stripes represented the 15 states at the time, the original colonies plus Vermont and Kentucky. Well, how, how many of you got it right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well as ring that bell to get notified when we're ready to hit you with more knowledge. I'll play you out today with a quote from E.B. White. Always be on the lookout for wonder. You've been watching History Hound. I'll see you in history.